Hello everyone, it's Gigabeef here and today we're looking at Ricochets and the Condor Glasses, which are one of two sets of Ballistic Glasses in Tarkov alongside the new Batwolves. These both have different properties to the cosmetic shades in game because they also have stats that are found on armour, namely class 1 protection, glass material type and, most importantly, a medium ricochet chance. Before we begin, today's video is sponsored by Outplayed, a fantastic video capture app that lets you easily record your raids, which I'm always saying is an incredibly insightful tool for improving your game, and doubly so with your deaths. Outplayed supports 300 games, but for Tarkov specifically, it records each raid automatically as a separate video file, cutting out the stash organisation in between and saving you hard drive space, as well as giving you the option to bookmark sections while in raid as you go with a hotkey, such as after a really big fight so you don't have to hunt around the recording for it later on. Afterwards, you can use the inbuilt video editor to cut just the part that you want and share it directly to Discord, Twitter, YouTube, or Reddit from within the app itself to show your friends or the wider world. Do check it out, the link for the app is down in the description and the pinned comment. Okay, back to the glasses. The idea here is that even though their class of protection is extremely low, i.e. it only prevents shots with a penetration of under about 7, the ricochet chance should in fact allow them to bounce even high tier bullets from time to time. But what is from time to time? What does medium even mean? Ricochet is notoriously complicated in EFT, in part because of its difficulty in testing. If we go back to the original source of most of the ballistics pages on the wiki, namely No Food After Midnight's Tarkov blog, this states, The angle of impact has no effect on armour except for helmets, which bullets can ricochet off of. If a bullet strikes a helmet within a certain range of angles, the round has a chance to ricochet, determined by how shallow the angle is, as well as the ricochet chance of the helmet. The required angles and the ricochet chance is determined by the helmet and is different for each individual helmet. It then goes on to say that basically if a ricochet happens, the damage is very low. The major issue in figuring this out is the part about the range of angles. The implication here is that there is some kind of minimum angle at which a ricochet can occur, but also that there is a higher chance to ricochet as the angle increases. This makes sense intuitively, as you can imagine shooting a surface straight on versus shooting it at a very small angle is going to get a very different result in the real world, but getting a constant angle in practice in Tarkov is not that easy for a variety of reasons. Firstly, the character models shift around as they breathe. Secondly, the bullets come out of the barrel and not through the sight, leading to height over bore issues if you're close. And thirdly, the hitboxes for our PMC's head is just a sphere, and it's the same regardless of the helmet, armour or face shield that you're wearing, which makes it hard to know exactly where you're shooting at, even if you can account for points 1 and 2. Also, although we now have co-op mode for testing, if you get it wrong and you don't get a ricochet, your test subject takes the quick extract back to the lobby, meaning that you have to load in over and over and over again, which makes it take forever. The trick that I used for this video to get a sensible sample size within a reasonable amount of time involves a little scene round these days, which is APSX for the MP7. This is one of the highest penetration rounds in the game at 53, but crucially it has a starting damage of exactly 35. That means that you can actually never get a headshot in one hit with APSX outside of any fragmentation, which doesn't really seem to be working anyway at the moment, because any distance away from the target will reduce the damage down by a small amount. Although we only see whole numbers in game, the health system uses decimals to some degree. For example, you can have your head HP at zero, but for it to not be blacked and still be able to heal it back up. This dramatically increases the number of tests you can do without resetting. Before even putting the glasses on, one strange effect that we noticed was that every time the test victim was hit in the face with no armour at all from the front, thorax damage was also dealt. This happened over three consecutive shots, a small sample, but something to wonder about. Putting on the condor glasses, when you get shot directly in the face at full durability, it seems that the ricochet chance is either extremely low or non-existent. There were no incidents of ricochets across seven tests, which matches what we would expect based on the theory. Now, due to the issues with getting a constant angle, the most consistent way to test the ricochet chance is at the maximum angle possible. This means that we need to clip just the edge of the hitbox, and doing so in the first set of testing data, we had a 66.6% .6 chance to ricochet the APSX using full durability condors across 9 tests, which is super high. We conducted a further 33 tests, but using various durabilities of glasses instead, some full and some lower, which came out to 64%. But interestingly, most of the penetrations in this sample and no ricochet happened on full durability glasses at the start, which indicates fairly strongly that the durability has no bearing on the ricochet chance. One point to note, we did not test it with zero durability glasses. So it appears that, at least with APSX, the Condor glasses bounce about two thirds of the time when the shots hit your player just on the left and right edges of the eye's hitbox. 
Presumably this represents the maximum chance, which gets less as you move towards the centre of the hitbox and somewhere closer to the middle the chance falls to zero, or at least a small number. We next repeated the high angle ricochet test with another high ricochet armour, which is the Takkek Heavy Trooper Mask, otherwise known as the Mandalorian Mask. Across 21 tests, this showed a 71% ricochet chance, seemingly higher than the Condors, but again our samples are not that large. This one really suffers from hitbox issues as the mask protrudes dramatically away from the PMZ head and you have to shoot nearly halfway through it to actually connect with the hitbox. The final test that we did was a combination of both the Condors and the Mando mask together. The rumour in the community for a long time was that the ricochet chance rolls for each separately and on that basis you were better off wearing two sets. If this was true, with approximately a 65 and 70% chance of each one getting a ricochet, you'd expect to see about a 90% chance with them combined. However, this is not what we saw at all. Across 22 tests, the total combination came to 68%, roughly halfway between the two, or about the same as either of them individually. I was very careful about hitting the eyes hitbox, as with both on, it's even harder to aim properly, but in every single test that we did, the condors were damaged in some form, so we can be sure we were hitting in the right place. What's more is that every time we got a ricochet on the condors, the mask took no damage whatsoever. However, when the condors got penned, the chance was then rolled on the Mando mask instead. Bizarrely, splitting out the respective ricochet chances came to 41% on the condors and 46% on the Mando mask, which is why the resulting overall chance ends up about the same as either of the two individually at 68%. This could be intentionally coded in to specifically prevent players from stacking ricochet rolls all over the place, or we could have just gotten incredibly unlucky in the testing, although that does seem unlikely because the results are quite different. Another thing that is interesting about the data is that when Condors bounce APSX, the player was left on 28 head HP, i.e. the round dealt 7 damage. With the Mando mask on, this was 33, only dealing 2 damage instead. If you're wearing both condors and the mask together, even if only the condors bounce and the face shield stays fully intact, you're actually left on 34 HP, with the round only dealing 1 damage. So it's as if the calculation uses a combination of the glasses and the mask together for the blunt damage from the ricochet, even though it actually happened only on the glasses themselves, because the glasses got damaged and the mask didn't. The conclusion from the testing that we've done so far is that, at least in this very specific and limited case, is that stacking ricochet has no effect, and that you may as well just wear the piece with the highest ricochet and hitbox coverage without doubling them up. However, if choosing between wearing something or going without at all, we have at least shown that there can be a high chance of deflecting a shot towards the edges of the head hitbox with the condors or the Mando mask. At 25 and 50k ish, they may not be the economic choice and don't expect to get them back on insurance either, but if you're looking to maximise your survival rate then you do get an edge by using them. I wanted to put my findings out so far, but I'm nowhere near done with Ricochet and the science is to be continued. However, in my research around the topic, I stumbled upon another really good thread on Reddit with some excellent testing from a user called Cringing Throwaway. This was only done a month ago as of the time of recording, so mid-August 2022, and what they did was look at a bunch of rounds against four helmets, the Takkek, the SSH-68, the Ronin, and the Masker. By firing them at three angles each and taking ten measurements, they've also come up with a ricochet chance on each one. The results are generally interesting, as they show an increasing chance to ricochet with higher pen rounds, as well as the high ricochet chance helmets potentially having a chance even straight on. Perhaps the threshold angle is quite low for these and so it's hard to get it dead on, but practically speaking it shows that there can be a decent chance for ricochet for these helmets across a wide variety of common rounds, some of them even with high penetrations. I'd personally love to see the data for the Ratnik and for the ULAC as well, but I can only imagine how long this initial dataset took. They said 3 days and 1200 data points, which is pretty nuts. I'll link to the thread in the description so you can check it out yourself if you're interested afterwards. Next up, go and watch my video on why despite having 102 damage, the Ash 12 with the best rounds doesn't always one-shot enemy PMCs to the chest. Otherwise, as usual, big shout out to all my patrons, hit all the buttons if you enjoyed the video, and as always, have fun in your raids.